Hello there, Capricorns. Welcome to your weekly tarot reading. Um, for you guys, in terms of love, I feel like there is a new chapter happening in your life. Um, I see many of you guys. This is the energy that you're bringing to the table. Okay, so this is the death card. Um, you're making some major reassessment in your life in terms of career, in terms of love, in terms of housing, in terms of your greater life purpose and life path, where you need to be, what you need to do in your own life to move things along and to manifest the right things. So I feel like many of you have uh, let go or close out a chapter in your life, um, self-defeating behaviors or clinging on to things and situations um, that were not good for you and implementing some major changes as well so that you can move forward. And with the death card as the major arcana card, the energy that you embody is that of wanting change, not wanting things to stagnate anymore, taking a lot more of a realistic but also pragmatic, um, I, I want to say proactive and pragmatic approach when it comes to doing things, getting things moving for yourself and turning over a new leaf in your own life. In terms of love and commitment, I definitely feel like this is a, a card about coming out of, for those of you who were in relationships, coming out of a relationship, healing from relationships past and then moving on. So there might be a change in your relationship sector. If you were single, you will be in a relationship. And for those who were in relationships, I feel like you have let go of some people or some let some things fall away possibly if you were even juggling two people i do have the two of pentacles here two options that might have been available to you on the table and you didn't know in the past which offer to go with or which person you feel would be a better fit for you and for some of you we have a fire sign coming into the picture that is the catalyst for this major change so i have here the page of wands so this is somebody that is very um passionate towards you the body that they um the energy that they embody is one that is really um playful fun they're not looking for a serious commitment but i feel like a lot of fun a lot of spontaneity and a lot of just um dynamism could be had in this relationship if you choose to pursue it so i feel like you're getting a lot of communication from this person let's go here let's go there what are you doing friday what are you doing saturday and so forth this is somebody that takes initiative they make plans happen so they could be a fire sign a sagittarius an Aries or a Leo. I see very strong Aries energy here. We do have as well the Emperor and this is somebody that really knows what they want. They're kind of impatient and when they make plans they usually stick to them. So the only uh, issue that I'm seeing here is you've got somebody that is really interested in pursuing you and they're, they're trying to solidify some plans with you and I feel like you know as the death card you're doing dealing with some major changes in your own life and I feel like for some of you, your schedule might not be as free in order to pursue this person or if they're making plans, there are some logistical issues when it comes to plans coming together with this fire sign. But either way, they're very passionate about you and I feel like whenever you're ready, you should reach out to this person because once again, that impatient energy is picking up. And I feel as if in the past they might have reached out to you and this is in regards to travel plans, you know, let's go away for the weekend and you might not have felt like you were ready. Um, you might have recently started to talk to them or started dating them. So you're not at a point where you can, you know, commit to a weekend getaway, a full weekend with just you and this person. But I feel like they might have solicited you in the past and now they're at a point where they are waiting for you to come towards them, okay? And the energy that you're coming in and charging forward with here is the chariot. This is like full blast. This is the major, major green light. Uh, travel that's happening, plans coming to fruition, plans being solidified between you and, an, and another person. So if they have been soliciting you in the past, what I feel happening is you might have um, narrowed down your options when it comes to, you know, multiple suitors, multiple options here with the two of pentacles. And you're charging ahead full speed to meet this person halfway. And when you meet them halfway, I feel like you're coming on very strong. 
And I feel like your energy is very directed, which is something that they would appreciate. But I also feel like with this fire sign, their energy is once again that impatience that's coming through. So they might have somebody else that's that they're pursuing. If you take too long, or they might have other things, other plans that have already culminated in their own life. So if you're taking your sweet time, I feel like you might need to double check with them to sh to make sure that they're still available and still free, and if they're still interested in what you have to offer. So, if there has been a misconnection in the past, I feel like it is your responsibility to kind of follow up with them. And if they were the ones constantly reaching out to you in the past, I feel like it's only fair for you this time around to follow through on some of the plans and to check up on this person, okay? Um, I feel for others of you, if you're dealing with someone who is older than you, and I have this um, emperor energy, this is somebody usually like there's an age difference, okay? It doesn't have to be huge, but I definitely feel like um, it's a biological age difference and it's also a maturity level. This is someone who's very established in their career. They could be a fire sign or they embody the energy of someone who is very steady, uh, who has achieved a lot of career and financial success. They could be an Aries, they could be as well a Cancer. This is the card of Aries, the Emperor, and the card of Cancer, the Chariot. So they could be, you know, Aries, Cancer, uh, Sun, Moon, or Rising. They're someone who's very established in their profession. They uh, exude an air of maturity and authority. And I also feel like there's a lot of travel and movement and plans and even opportunities for the two of you to relocate if you're dealing with someone who's a little bit older or who embodies uh, the, the traits of these signs. And I feel as if you're taking the relationship to the next level and I also feel like you're doing a lot of the work to move the relationship along. Not that they're not doing it, but I feel like they were waiting on you for you to do it on your own time. So divine timing, I feel, is working in this relationship. So if they have been kind of backing off to make sure that you were, you, you got your things together, then I feel like this is the week where you feel a lot more secure and you feel a lot more stable where you're at and you're able to charge full speed ahead and to let them know your intentions. So I feel like in the past, um, Capricorns, you were really dragging your feet. You have a few people, possibly two people, that um, really care about you. And I feel like, you know, they might have reached out multiple times, but um, you were dealing with your own things. A lot of it could be work, could be financial things that you had to take care of in your own life in order to make yourself ready, in order to, to put you on an even keel so that you can, you know, start dating or so that you can tend to your relationship. So you have these two, one is younger and one is older, these two signs that are coming into the picture or that you're um, making some plans with and forging ahead with, okay? So it's a good week to reconnect. In terms of uh, your work in other areas, I do have a spiritual advice for you that is coming through. And uh, what I feel is the Emperor is showing up twice. So I want to talk about this. Repeat cards are actually very significant and very meaningful and even more so because they are major arcana cards. So we have here the Emperor and this is pretty much a spiritual message for you telling you that all your hard work is going to pay off. Everything that you're doing right now, it feels almost like there's a lull, there's a stagnation, there's a reprieve or a break away from something so that you can recuperate your strength, so that you can kind of synthesize everything that you've learned and to basically bring it into the world. So this is you exuding a lot of power, a lot of prestige in your work environment and also being in a position where a lot of people are coming to you to either consult you, to ask you to fix mistakes, or to kind of pick your brain, like to ask you for your advice, to ask you for your counsel. So you are in a very good position here where you're helping a lot of people and you're giving people a lot of sage wisdom and advice. So no matter what field you're in, I feel like this is a reminder that you're on the right track, that whatever you're doing right now is helping you expand your skills and it's helping you kind of like put yourself out there. 
So the more projects you take on, the, the, the better it's going to be for you for your professional life because it's helping you kind of throw your name out there so that higher ups or people around you or people in the work environment would be more familiar with you as a person and that they keep you in mind when it comes to opportunities for promotion, okay? So you're a very valuable player in a work environment and you should keep at it and you should, you know, exude this air of authority and not think that you are less than. So once again, a few months ago, I mentioned that for many of you, it's like you would settle for being underemployed because you feel like that's only how much you're worth. This is a card that indicates you are worth a lot more and you're coming to the realization that you're a very, very valuable asset to this company. And as a result of it, I definitely feel as well, you know, there's opportunities for travel and movement and even a lot of talks that's coming into the picture. This is you traveling um, possibly like, you know, across the continental U.S and running into people and rubbing elbows with people who are really going to help you in the next phase of your life. We have the Wheel of Fortune. This is opportunities. Um, it's like being in the right place at the right time, running into the right people, hearing about the right job openings. So this is going to be an energy from now until the end of this year where we round out the year. And I feel like there will be a lot of uh, talks, a lot of discussions a lot of rubbing elbows with people who are kind of like big big shot or you know um, they're 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 famous in their field or they're going to help you advance your career in some way and i have as well the four of pentacles as well as the three of pentacles so if your tendency in the past is to kind of like be very status quo conscious, you know, kind of like, oh, I'm happy where I'm he at right now. It doesn't pay an exuberant, um, uh, it doesn't pay a exorbitant, excuse me, amount of money, but, uh, you know, it's stable, it's secure. So I'm just going to stay and, and hang around and just see what comes up and, and just see if there's going to be promotion. I feel like this is not the right strategy that you want to take especially if you're trying to make some positive changes in your life this is like stagnation status quo and being happy with the status quo whereas your advice is telling you to network to branch out to look at where there are shortcomings within the company and to even advocate you know like for example maybe they don't have a quality control aspect to this company Maybe you can suggest that to higher ups and be like, you know, I can fulfill that role. Or maybe you should create that role and then I can fulfill it. Or let's test it out. Let me do it for two months exclusively doing quality control and then see if, um, if everything is improved as a result of it. So I feel like you're being put in a position where you're giving kind of feedback, really important feedback to the people in your organization. They're going to come to you and ask you, you know, what is not working and what is working and, and how can we improve the workflow? How can we improve the entire uh, hiring process? So I see for many of you, you might be uh, placed on a hiring panel where you're interviewing people or your higher ups might be asking you, I want your feedback on this and I want your honest opinion. So if in the past your uh, <clears throat> propensity has been, you know, uh, let's play it safe and not tell them everything that's on my mind. I feel like they're soliciting your advice because they trust you because you know how to you are somebody that, you know, you, you give really good advice. And so they're going to ask you for your opinion and for your ideas. OK, either way, the environment for this week is one of collaboration where you're dealing with a lot of people and you're also going to work in some way where you are counseling other people, giving them uh, expertise, giving them like structure or allowing them to consult you so that they can uh, streamline their work processes. So not too much of a busy week with this emperor energy. Um, this is the person that kind of delegates and they give responsibilities to other people. 
they don't really get their hands dirty. So I feel like it's not going to be too busy of a week. There's travel indicated as well. For those of you who travel for a living, there are a lot of contracts that you're finalizing and there are also opportunities for social, um, it's like professional social engagement, okay? And it's really telling you to grab these opportunities because it's there because you're meant to meet somebody there or you're meant to be there in the right place at the right time so that some things can start moving for you. So not a week to be taken lightly with a lot of these major arcana cards coming out and especially when I shuffle the cards, they all came out in the upright position. So that means it's a really powerful week for you to kind of put yourself out there um, rubbing elbows with people and you know make yourself more visible and, and allow your opinions and allow you know um, allow others to see more of the inner workings of you so that they can understand you as a person but either way I feel like it's just a good time to kind of put your name out there volunteer for things or at least you know uh, in a group setting for example, if people are just like, does anyone have any ideas on how to do things? Just throw your ideas out there so that your name circulates. And so when people further down the line, you know, three, four months from now, when they mention your name, everyone is at least familiar with it. Because um, in a, if you're in a big company, even if like a few people know your name, even if they can't match the name to the face, the fact that the name sounds familiar makes them more trusting of the person in general. So I feel like it's really good. Uh, it's a good idea to put ourselves out there, volunteer for things, volunteer for work, volunteer to monitor projects, volunteer for projects even so that you can establish that baseline, you know, uh, foundation for yourself so that when your name is heard by higher ups, they are more um, inclined to you know trust what you have to say okay so it's a big big week to make kind of like to to leave your your footprint and it's a big week to allow yourself to be more visible in a work situation so I feel as if you know many of you uh, work is really really the cornerstone of your life right now um, you're trying to do your best and I also feel as well you're staying in a work situation once again for security when there are a lot of other options that are made available to you for those of you who are going through school or dealing with school um, with this three of, of pentacles this is kind of like um, study group and I feel like you know if you have been struggling with a specific uh, subject or a specific course uh, studying by yourself even though, you know, Capricorns, this you feel more comfortable doing it on your own. Studying by yourself might not be the best option. Allowing group work to come in, group study, study sessions and things like that, where everyone contributes a little bit of what they know. I feel like that's going to be a better way to do it in order to ace exams and things like that. Okay, so I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful week and I will see you next week. Take care.